some people will say, well, when I eat my junk food, it's enriched with B vitamins. Let's just talk about natural versus synthetic B1. Unfortunately, the top one-a-days are synthetically made. And the name for the synthetic version would be thymine mononitrate, extremely cheap. You can buy a kilogram of this stuff for roughly 30 bucks. So when you see a bottle of 100 pills and each one has a 100 milligrams of B1 and it only costs $5.50, you have to realize you're still making a massive profit. The bottle is more expensive than the material. Whereas natural B1 is more expensive because you have to use natural sources. One natural version that I like is called allothamine. It's very different than the synthetic version. It's actually a fat soluble and so it can penetrate a lot of different tissues whereas the water-soluble one is not able to penetrate through some of these fat-soluble membranes. The synthetic version is dependent on something called active transport when it gets absorbed, which means there's a certain protein that allows it to go into the body. Number one, it gets saturated pretty quick, so only a certain amount goes into your body. Also, if you have gut problems, because I'm talking about the absorption in the small intestine, anything going on with the GI system or inflammation, you're going to have a hard time absorbing the synthetic version of B1. Whereas the natural B1 doesn't need active transport. It can go right in. So you can get a lot of it with just small doses. One thing I like about the natural version, it can penetrate the blood brain barrier. When you're taking the synthetic version and you're also consuming carbs, alcohol, chances are you're not going to get very much absorption. When I talked about B1 helping you make energy, it's this natural version of B1 that really can help the mitochondria produce more energy. 